Here, I'm going to show you how to anonymize your data before you go to print from Excel. So let's say that you have something you want to print here, but you don't want to show the entry IDs or the names in the final printed product. We can go to anonymize and click right here. And there you go. Go to print. No names, no ID numbers. And the best part about this is we can also do it automatically so that you don't have to click in this checkbox. One line of code will make it so that any time you go to print the document, it will automatically put those little asterisks over all the data that you don't want printed. I'm going to show you how to do all of that here. And this is just a small sample of one of the many tutorials that we have. And I highly recommend that you check out teachexcel.com for our full Excel courses. I'll put a link to that below this video. The core premise of how this works is that we need a cell that will output true or false. When it is true, we want all of these guys to look like that. When it is false, we want it to look like that. It's normal, regular state. So we're going to have one cell for true and false. Let's put it right here for now. And there we go, true. And if we input false, false. But nothing happens. But now what we need is a formula to check this and then using conditional formatting to tell us when to make those asterisks. So all that we want for that is a very simple equals does this guy right here equal true does it equal true now nope does it equal true now yes it does this is our custom formula for conditional formatting but we're going to put dollar signs around it so i'm going to hit f4 because we want to apply it to multiple cells at once and we don't want this to change so i'm going to hit Control c to copy that now i'm going to select all of the cells so I select those and now I hit control and select those that I want to apply the anonymization to. Then we go to conditional formatting, new rule, use a formula to determine which cells to format, paste that guy in there, go to format, number, custom, and all the way down here, you might not have this guy input, so I'm going to zoom in real quick and let you see that. That's the type that we want, and you can input that right here. Just click in here and type it in. Once you have that, hit OK. OK. And there we go. If it's true, it's like that. If it's false, it's like that. As simple as that. Well, let's go ahead and delete this guy and make it a bit more user-friendly. So what we're going to do is input a little checkbox. We want to go to the Developer tab. And if you don't have that, right-click, go to Customize the Ribbon, and put a check mark next to Developer, and hit OK. Then Insert, Checkbox, and we can draw a little checkbox down here. Let's make it big for the moment. And what we're going to do is to delete all of this, make it a little bit smaller now, and let's right-click it. And let's go to Format Control. And on the Control tab, Cell Link, click this arrow, click the cell that we have linked to our conditional formatting. Hit Enter. OK. Now we can click away and click this guy and see how that controls our anonymization. Now all you have to do is to set this cell to the same color as the background, so you can't see it. And then what we can do is we can click this guy, and so control click, move it wherever you want to move it. Click away, and there you go. At this point, to protect a true false value cell right here, what you could do is to hide this column or simply protect the worksheet. But since we do have this on the worksheet that we want to print, what you might want to do is to select your print area. So select everything that you want to be printed, then go to Page Layout, Print Area, Set Print Area. And now, all of this stuff will not be included when we go to print. But the last thing is to make it anonymize our data automatically when we go to print. And how do we do that? Well, let's first remember where we are. We are on the Data Worksheet in cell K1. That's where my original true-false value is. So I set this cell as the same color as the background, and then I put the checkbox on top of it. So now hit Alt F11, 
And what you want to do is to find your workbook over here. If you don't have this window, go to View and Project Explorer. Then we want to open Microsoft Excel Objects and go to This Workbook. When you're there, select Workbook from the left drop-down, and then select Before Print from the right drop-down. And this is going to run all of the code that we put here before we go to print. And all we want is one simple single line of code to set the value on the data worksheet of cell K1 to true. That's it. Now we can go back here, Alt F11, or click this little button, Control P for print, and notice the data is not currently anonymized, but before we actually have it printed, it should be. And though I don't have a physical printer here, I'm going to test it by making a PDF. And how cool is that? Just a couple simple tricks combined, and our data is anonymized. And now that you know how to do this, you've got the tools to make it much more interesting. You can add a little password to de-anonymize the data. You can do all sorts of really fun things, especially when you add in more VBA and macros. So those of you who are taking my full VBA course, you can have a lot of fun with this. And if you haven't taken my course, give it a look. I'll put a link to it in the description below this video, and it'll take you from beginner all the way to expert level so you can automate your spreadsheets. But for this tutorial, that's all there is. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you can get all of my future tutorials.